The journalism industry's 21st century metrics, such as subscriptions and employment, show that this era was hardly the industry's most profitable, even before the pandemic hit. But with the addition of the economic crash of 2020, the financial situation is particularly precarious for many publications, and local publications have fared particularly poorly during this time. So the Local Journalism Sustainability Act would create three federal tax credits to encourage local media. The bill defines a local publication as one where the majority of the readership resides within a 200 mile radius. Number one, a tax credit for you to subscribe to a local newspaper worth up to $250 per year. Number two, a tax credit to encourage local media to hire and pay journalists worth up to $12,500 per quarter, equivalent to $50,000 per year. Number three, a tax credit to incentivize businesses to advertise with local media worth up to $5,000 per year. It was introduced in the House on July 16th by Arizona Democratic Representative Ann Kirkpatrick, although the co-sponsorship is actually fairly evenly bipartisan. Now, supporters argue that the bill helps an industry vital to the American way of life, an industry whose freedoms are protected by the freedom of the press provision of the First Amendment. Opponents counter that such a journalism bailout would breach the firewall that's supposed to exist between independent media and government by creating a mechanism in which journalists are financially relying on the politicians whom they're supposed to hold accountable. Well, alas, we here at GovTrack Insider count as national rather than local media, so even if this bill is enacted, we wouldn't be eligible for any of the money. Although if this bill does get enacted into law, uh, maybe we would rebrand ourselves as a local publication.